right, we got some tunnel action. And again, you guys already know how I roll with the downshifts. Shift, downshift, brake boost. So I just got a package in the mail. I got this from a guy named Chris. His Instagram name is JDM King Lab. And don't roast me guys. The only reason why I have gloves on is because I do not want to stain the titanium. Without further ado, let's unbox this. Very excited. I've been waiting for this for like two or three days. Let me show you guys what I got. All right. Opened up the box. Oh, damn it. Oh, okay. So. Here's his note card. Follow him on Instagram. It's JDM King Lab, and that's also his website name. So pretty much all he sells is rare Japanese parts or parts that have been discontinued or parts that are difficult to acquire. So check it out, guys. JDM King Lab. So here's the product. We wrapped it really well. It already feels very light because of the titanium. I just want to change the look of my car, especially for the front. Give it a nice little different look to it. You guys know how I am, JDM part lover. Damn. I was looking at the Varus one, which is this one right here, and also the Powerhouse Amuse one. So what this is, this is a front license plate holder. All right guys, so today's install is gonna be very special. Today we're gonna be installing this Varus front license plate holder frame. So this install seems like an easy thing to do, right? Well, it is, but then at the same time, it's not. I'm sure most of you guys are going to be like, well, why don't you just remove this front Euro style plate and just slap the new one on? Well, I simply cannot do that because these two license plate bolts cannot be removed unless I remove the front bumper. Why? Because they have no place in the front to twist or turn. Remove the entire front bumper along with all the carbon fiber pieces, the radiator stays, the, the duct, the cooling plate, the front grill garnish, maybe the headlights. So I'll show you how to do that. course it changes colors in that anodized blue and purple colorway so to remove the front bumper what you guys are gonna have to do there's clips right behind these fog light covers you just pop them out and then there's gonna be clips in the very bottom so you're gonna want to remove all those clips of course that is if you have not modified your front bumper but for my case I have so you guys are gonna have those clips in those slots right there now next what I'm gonna have to do is start removing these allen key titanium bolts so for my case i actually have some zip ties held on this side you, i don't know if you can see them but they're in that fender well right there i have a zip tie under this fender that's connecting my fender to my front bumper so i'm gonna have to turn the wheel make sure we don't have anything on the other side to damage the wheel i have these pots over here 
have to move them a little bit more back just because I don't want to damage the wheel when I turn it. There we go. It's the radiator stay. There we go. Alright, I guess the entire department came off. So these are the radiator stays and this is the radiator shroud. Again, this is to keep the temperatures down. All right, so this is one part where you have to be absolutely careful because these clips are very sensitive. Right here, the ones holding it down to the grill. All right, so I ended up removing my Front Zero Sports Garnish with, with the OEM grill. If you guys are curious, this is what this piece looks like. Let me show you guys outside. So this is the entire department for the carbon fiber grill garnish. Let me show you guys the toe strap that I have properly done the bolt onto the frame so in case my car ever does break down and i need to tow it from the front i can tow it very easily right here and the cool part about this hpi tow strap is that i can always hide it with a fog light cover but it's just preference for me i don't know i, like, I guess i like to show it so now we can remove the bumper safely there we go Check this out, the front bumper is now completely removed. So this is the Cusco front power brace bar. Of course, in that famous blue colorway of Cusco. There I have the toe strap mounted on the frame. If you guys are curious how they're mounted, here you go. Mounted on here, and then the other one mounted on this slot hole. This front bumper. <coughs> and of course, this is gonna go just like that. So let's see how it works out. All right, so I'm shooting with my iPhone now, my DSLR guide, and I don't have no other charger batteries, but this is the end result. I ended up bolting down the titanium bolts from the front. And the back also have the titanium nuts. The top side, this is what it looks like. I'm so happy to have this part on the car. It just makes it look a little bit more different. Check out this Euro style front plate, the old one. Unfortunately, the slots from this STI Euro style plate does not match the various plate holder, unless I actually drill onto the various, but I do not want to do that because it will depreciate the value of the piece. So now to install the front bumper, let me do that right now, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's fully installed into the car. All right, let's get these clips into the place. Bumper. Yeah. I just gotta put the last fog light cover in there. Again, this is 100% titanium that's anodized and on the back side of course I had it mounted on with some titanium bolts. I'm going to try my best to keep adding on to this JDM theme that I have going on. Alright. I'm at the pump again. the damn time this thing goes through feel like no other down an ethanol percentage it was at e80 earlier today now it's at e77 